Hey guys, so I'm gonna do my makeup for the day. I have some videos to record and I have some places to go. But I wanted to do another like talky video, like a let's chat video, since you guys like these kind of videos. So this is the Emmy, Emmy robe. Um, this is the newest print um, on my site, Encoma.com. So this is the one that I launched on our fall launch day. So I didn't show anybody this one yet. So this was like a new surprise robe. And I have the white one and the white and gold coming. You guys are really excited for that one. And then I have a red one coming. And then I have a orange and blue one. You've seen me wear the orange and blue one before. So those are coming. So And they come in two different sizes. So there's one size. And that is for small to extra large. And then the next one is the one size extended and that's for like 1x to 3x so there's just two size categories so yeah i already did my brows so i'm gonna mix two foundations i'm gonna do the fenty beauty and i'm in the color 420 i wanted to mix the uh maybelline fit me uh is it matte poreless in 355 coconut and this is another matte Matte, matte and poreless foundation mix. So. And then I take my Cover FX uh, custom blot drops and you just blot this into like any cream foundation or concealer that you want to use, but more like foundation. So I just put, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, six drops. All right, so I kind of wanted to chit chat about friends. Um, I think. Um, for some of you that feel like, you know, you need to reevaluate your friends, your friend group, your squad, your circle, who you hang out with, who you associate with, who you call your friend. Because it's like, you know, the new year and New Year's is always good for, you know, beginnings, new slate, new everything. So um, if you have maybe a couple people in your group that you're like, you know what, I think it's time that I need to cut off this person. You no, know, maybe it's time to like get a like a vision board or like a notebook or just, you know, even just meditate about it or think about it and think like who are the people that you need to like, you know, cut off before the new year starts so that when the new year starts, you know, you'll have as much positive energy around you as you as you possibly can. And you'll feel just so much better just getting rid of like dead weight and stuff like that. I think there's this, the people that need to be cut off are the ones that one, are always negative. The ones that, you know, are so negative that their negativity like encroaches onto your life. You know, they always have problems. And it's like the problems where it's like they create the problems for themselves. And it's like you've helped, you've tried to help them enough times where it's just like, Okay, you have to like help yourself, you know, and it's it's not people, the people around you or your or whatever. It's like you, you need to change, you know, and you can only do so much to help people change. You know, they have to put in the work themselves to want to change. So people that just have too much going on that it's like, I can't, I can't be here for you anymore. Next, the people that are never supportive of your dreams, your endeavors, you know, the ones that never congratulate you when good things happen, the ones that always put you down when you may have something good going on and it's like you would expect them to like, you know, say something nice or encouraging but they don't, definitely have to cut those people out. And then there's, then the people that, you know, it's kind of a combination of the two I've already mentioned. People that maybe are in a bad place in their life and I've had friends and family members like this where they're in a bad place in their life and they take out their aggression and their sadness and their frustration on you and try to bring you down. And you know this, you know that they're going through something and they're just lashing out at you, but it's kind of like, you know, why work we're friends? Why would you lash out at me? Even if we're friends or we're family, like, well, why would you lash out at me? and be so negative just because you're going through something, you know, doesn't mean that you have to be so nasty to me. So those people, you know, even though you know that you're going through something and they're lashing out at you, you can have, you still have to cut them off because, so every time they're going through something, they're gonna be nasty to you and you're gonna let that be okay. You know, so you got into a certain program at school and they didn't. 
and they lash out at you. So when you get married and they don't, they're going to lash out at you. When you have, when you start having kids and they don't, they're going to lash out at you. When you buy a house or a new car and they don't, they're going to lash out at you. So it's like, cut it off now. Like there's no point in having someone be so negative and so just, ugh. I've had friends and family members that have been like that. And it's like, I hate to cut you off because I know you're going through something, but you can't treat me like this because you're going through something, you know? So it's hard, but you have to just cut them off. So yeah. So make a list and figure out the people that you need to cut off. Like it's, it's time. Like when the new year starts, you know, you have goals and a lot of things, projects you need to get complete. And, you know, you don't need those kind of people to weigh you down or keep you back. So start making the list now so you can start cutting them off before the new year starts. That's what I would suggest to do. I've experienced a lot of situations like that where I had, so I had a friend that was trying to get into medical school and they couldn't, they applied and applied and did all this stuff and they couldn't. And I was just finishing, yeah, I was just finishing pharmacy school and you know, their last, their, their second choice, like their, their B lane or their, uh, their B route in life was to maybe apply to pharmacy school, you know, but during the process of going through all that with applying to pharmacy school and stuff, no, applying to medical school, you know, they kind of just took out that aggression on me and started just putting me down for like, you know, random things that eventually when they got into pharmacy school, they wanted to start crawling back to me and like asking me like, you know, like, I messed up, can we be friends again? And it's like, I wanted to, but then it's like, so does that mean that, you know, anytime I, I achieve something or get to a new step and you're not there yet, you're gonna always be like that? You know, sometimes those people are so dangerous, you know? Cause sometimes I think like, you don't even know how envious somebody is of your life or your achievements or what you have that, you know, some people go to the extremes to ruin that for you, you know? And it's like, well, I wouldn't want anybody to be around me that I know of that would do anything to jeopardize my life, my career, my family, you know, all that stuff. So I know I, I had to cut them off because I couldn't be around them. Like I, I didn't feel safe mentally, like, you know? And then it's like, okay, when something good happens for me, do I not tell them or not express it to them because they're gonna feel a certain way? That's not, no, we can't be doing stuff like that, so. So, had to cut them off. And it was just crazy how, you know, they begged to just, you know, can we be friends again? Can we go back to how it was? And I'm just like, and they let the other friends that were around us influence the way they thought. Because I'm like, you know you're better than that, but why would you follow those other people and act like that, you know? Like, like who raised you? Sometimes I wonder, like, who raised you? Then um, I had one friend where they were like literally like mentally insane. And um, I just gave them so many chances, you know. And I don't know why, but sometimes like I know people feel uncomfortable around me because people have told me like, oh, you're, you're, you're this and you're that and you're intimidating and you're so nice and this and you have this and stuff and it's intimidating. And I'm just like, okay, that's fine, but you don't have to be nasty towards me, you know? So I had this one friend that was just like that, and they couldn't just be comfortable with their own life and their own, like, whatever was going on with themselves, that they were, they just acted, like, mentally insane when they are around me. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. There was a point where they couldn't even take it anymore, and they just, like, fell off the planet of the face of the earth. <laughs> And I was like, okay, thank God, because I didn't want to have to like do all that. And then, you know, and then I always say like, you know, people, uh, everyone is not going to like to be around you when things are going great for you and you're doing this and you're doing that and you're successful in this and, and successful in that and they're not there. And it's just like, they're not comfortable with their own life or they're not content with what they have or they're not focusing. Actually what it is, they're not focusing on their own life because everybody's life isn't the same, you know? You can't look at someone and say, oh, they're doing this and doing, they're doing that and I'm not doing that. So that means that I'm failing. You know, that means that you have a different life. Like everyone's life path is not the same. So you can't be looking at somebody and then feeling a, sort, a, a certain way and feeling down about yourself, you know? Like, as I said, everyone has their own journey in life, you know? You need to just 
focus on that because when you when you when you're not looking at other people and stuff then that's when you don't even at the end of the day you are so envious and so bothered by every what everybody else is doing that you didn't even end up completing what you wanted to do in the beginning use people as a motivation and inspiration but not as a black and white guide on how to live life you know so yeah so that's it about friends next i want to talk about um you know creating your creating a life outside of your career and how to like build yourself and have something for yourself outside of your nine to five job so i have a nine to five job i'm a pharmacist and um i work full-time 40 hours a week full-time and i have my own business yeah i have my own business i have my own hobbies that are outside of work that fulfill me enough where you know i feel like my job doesn't define me and my job in my mind and my happiness my job isn't 90 percent of me 99 percent of me 80 percent of me because when i think about it like my job as a pharmacist i it's I, I just think to myself, it's so small compared to my my family, my my hobbies, my business, my passions in life outside of work that um, I feel happy. Like I don't mind going to work and then getting off work and then doing stuff with my family, doing my business, doing my hobbies and stuff like that. So I feel like we should all as women, it's 2017, you know, we don't have any, we, we don't have an excuse not to partake venture out or start a business a hobby to make money as like supplemental income to what you're already doing and i know that some people don't like to say like oh i work for somebody or i have a nine to five you know some people don't like that but i there's nothing wrong with having that there's nothing wrong with having a nine to five job and then another job that's your hobby that makes money for you that you know you don't you don't have to clock in and clock out you know so um and a lot of YouTubers, you know, say that like, oh, I don't want a nine to five job. I like doing this and um, um, I like to work for myself and have my own business and, you know, make money and stuff like that. And nothing, nothing wrong with that. But I like my job. I love my career. And um, I, I um, what was I, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Um, Luchi, um, Luchi Loyal here on YouTube. She like, I, I feel like we have so much in common because... We're both like medical professionals because she's a nurse and I'm a pharmacist and we have our nine to five jobs, our nine to five jobs, you know, regular jobs, clock in, clock out, you know, our careers we went to school for for many years and it was hard. But then like we have our side hustles, our hobbies, our like YouTube business that we do and we balance them both out and we're content with that, you know. So as I said, for you guys, 2018 coming up. Do you have a, a skill or an art or a passion that you can think about how to make money from that so that it can be like a supplemental income to what you're already doing so that if you don't want to quit your nine to five, you don't have to, you know, I would never do that because I love my job, you know, but, you know, maybe a supplemental income where it's like you go to work, but then when you get off work, you have your whole life and your whole passion, your whole business, your whole whatever to work on that fulfills you, you know, so much more so that your nine to five job your nine to five job doesn't define you, you know. So um tap into your, your skills and you know see how you can make money from it. So for me, um I make YouTube videos. So I make money from making YouTube videos because I love talking, I love giving giving advice, I love traveling and recording my travels and my family and my culture and stuff. So I love that. So I turn that love and hobby into a career into a business where I can make money from it and then from there you know I started my own clothing line and um, African clothing line coma.com and I started that well I had the idea since I was in high school and I've been working on it working on it ever since high school and then it wasn't until two years ago where I officially launched it and you know it's I've been learning I've been growing um, like looking at resources and how to do this and how to do that because I didn't go to business school so but it would the whole journey to get to where I am at today with my online store has been fun and like I can tell you guys like how I got to this point you know I, I, I like that I like how I you know taught myself looked up things learned things All right so ready for my lashes 
So I actually got two lashes from this black owned business on Instagram and their name is Serrani. And they have luxury mink lashes and they actually were nice enough to send me two mink lashes. And I have Ibiza and Rome. And I'll show you guys what they look like. So this is Rome. I think I'm gonna wear Rome today. But look how beautiful those are. They're so, like these are like wedding lashes. <laughs> These are too much for me to wear today, but I really, really want to wear them. And then this one is Ibiza. Look at that. Ah! They gave me a discount code, so I'll put a discount code on the screen and down below so you can get a little bit of money off. And it's a um, subscription-based lash, like a lash company. So I've never seen anything like that before, like a subscription-based lash company. So, you know, you get lashes every month. So. I pulled up their website and the lashes can last up to 30 wears and it's a subscription program as I said before so um, you can get lashes for as low as $9.99 a month and these are really really nice lashes and it's black owned business and yes so my, my dust count will be 25% off and yeah so ah! I've never had mink lashes so I don't even know if I'm even worthy but we will do this today. My camera auto focuses, so yeah, look at that. So beautiful. Get into these lashes. Oh my gosh, they're so good. They're so like this is definitely like a bridal wedding lash. Like, geez. I want you guys to share with me if you guys have negative people, you know, friends, even family members that it's like, okay, I need to like distance myself or cut you off. Or just, you know, not associate myself with you because I have things that I'm doing and you're bringing negativity to my life. You're not adding anybody to my life. You're not bringing anything, you know, positive to my life. So there's no need in having extra baggage. Time to cut them off. So, yeah. So, anyways, we have two more months left in the year. How are you going to make the rest of the year be special? And how are you going to get ready for 2018? I can't believe it. 2018. Craziness. Anyways, I hope you guys like that chit chat. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Kind. Never seen your type, oh, must be from the overseas